We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock-solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Austin Hayes, the next to bat, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Here's the first pitch to him. Lays off 1 and 0. First pitch, 7 o'clock. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him 1 and 1. And oh, to be on the beach in Hawaii tonight. 43 degrees at first pitch. The 1-1 one, one home. To two balls and two strikes now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Another try at 2 2. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. Throws in time, and that's at number one. That accepted. The left fielder, number 25. Anthony Santander into the box Anthony Santander he's ready here's the first offering hey. and he takes a cold strike 0 and 1 Santander a Venezuelan born ball player he's in his third season as a major league player didn't oh, quite right catch the zone there ball one. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, it makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. On deck, the powerful Chris Davis. One out, nobody on. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. Throw on the first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Chris Davis. Settling in now, Chris Davis, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Infield in the over shift here. Now the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. Three 
fouled off. Ready to deliver the one and two. Ball. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Here now the 2-2. Fouled away. The 2-2. This is pulled into right. Judge is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Cole Stewart is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. In now, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the here first. Here for the Yankees. The center fielder, Brett Gardner. Now the pitch. This one is launched. Look at this. And it's gone. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Here's the second baseman, second. DJ LeMayhew. The third baseman. Yes, he'll take a look at a high strike Love that time. It's Mayhew. nothing in one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Now another 0 2. Swung on and hit in the air again, deep down the left field line. And he brings it back. What a catch as he kept it out of the short porch three. down there. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. One thing I'm going to keep my eye on with this young starter on the mound is how he's able to stay ahead of hitters. It makes pitching at this level a lot easier. And when you're trying to establish yourself in the big leagues, you're going to have a much better time doing that if you attack hitters from the get go. A bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Batting fourth, the left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Pitch on the way. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away.
Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. Now 1 0 Yanks. Now at the plate, Hunter Alberto. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The second baseman, Hunter Alberto. First offering on its way. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Ford is there. One pitch, one out. That is fifth. The designated hitter, Renato Nunez. Stepping up now, Renato Nunez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. The wind up and the 0 1. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball, he's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. That's Rio it. Ruiz to the plate the now. He'll work on keeping Rio this top of the second Ruiz. alive. First delivery to him on the way. Ball, that's it. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90 percent of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. Here now the 2-2. Fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail this one one to nothing. Stepping into the box, Gary Yankee Sanchez. For the Yankees, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. First pitch on its way. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1 0. Sanchez drives the ball with the best of them when facing right handed pitching like this but there is some swing and miss in his game some would say it's a little bit of an all or nothing approach at times I think in today's game you can live with it the three true outcomes home or strike out or walk bottom line is when he does put the ball in play he changes the scoreboard changes up on him but that's in the dirt for a ball. Yanked on the ground down the line. 
And a diving effort there at third. Good way to bruise your ribs. How much for one of them ribs? It's a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And he takes four, ball four. Lead-off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Well, the reason power hitters generally that draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and four. nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Digging in, Mike Ford. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, a less than impressive oh, swing there good. to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. 0 1. Here's the pitch. Grounded to the right. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Batting seven. Not shortstop. Waver. Go red. So a runner on second with one down now, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Here's the first pitch to him. Runner at second here with one man out. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 oh and 2 to work the count back to three and two. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. He was able to recognize that pitch early. His eyes lit the up on that one. one. Able to pull it down the line for a nice base hit. Way. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Line drive base hit. Batting nine. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Here's Miguel Andujar now. 
He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that's in there. Base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect now, it and freeze Senator a little Fielder. bit. They had to freeze right. there for a second to make sure that Yard line there. drive gets down, but eventually does get to third base. Here's Brett Gardner now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he'll make it in to score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3 nothing ball now game. Batting. Obviously, third he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you Love can't be too upset you. with the sack fly. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball, that's ball one. Now the 1-0. Wade over at second and Duhar on at first with two down. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Santander grabs it to retire the side. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Yankees three and the Orioles nothing. Stepping in, Andrew Velasquez. He's the number seven leading hitter, but he's leading off the third the after the top. first six guys number in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Now here it comes. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite the right than the field. traditional curveball, but I think 24. it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Stepping in now, DJ Stewart. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the counted one and one. Fouled off. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. He's really on a roll that right now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap Damn. up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts and all. First offering on its way. Well, now a fastball a bit too low ball here. One, it's no ball nice. one. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew nope. in front of the plate. 
Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at bats for this team right now. Two balls and two strikes, the count to Chance Cisco. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail it here three to nothing. Ready to go for the last Leading half of the inning. The Here's Yankees. big Aaron Judge. The right He's 0 for 1 after Aaron. grounding out in his only trip to the yeah. plate so far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's the first pitch to him. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit sharply, but caught down there at third. A rough start to the home third. There's one away. Now batting, left fielder, Giancarlo Denton. So coming to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. The 2 1 home. Ball, that's out. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but now probably batting. too good Get to take, her. and he's down Gary. on strikes for the second time. That, yeah. yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch, and even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Standing oh. in now, Gary Sanchez. One and oh, the count. Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go one, two, three. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this one, two, three inning, I think he can right the ship. Swing and a hard liner to short. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Stepping in, Austin Hayes. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Now the pitch.
One strike now from Cole. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Okay. When you find yourself in an 0-2 hole against one of the best hurlers in baseball, you're basically just hoping to make contact. He's so good at putting guys away, though. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. The 1-2. Oh, that pitch is out. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. This guy is really now locked back. in on the bump right the now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now. Just yeah. rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Anthony Santander the next to bat as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far the wind up and the 0 1 and this is high a ball and a strike bases are empty one man out. One one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the hole now. One and two. And it's fouled away. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. The one two is laid off for ball two. One out, nobody on. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Seared down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now Number here in the middle innings. He's up over one in inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Chris Davis at the plate now. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Davis, a native Texan. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. Eight straight strikeouts. You gotta be kidding me. The inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Still down three nothing. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the Yankees. Ready the to go in the bottom of the fourth. Mike. Digging in. Mike Ford. Four. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Now the 1-0. This is pulled into right. 
And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. He'll get it into second. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. You could tell he was the thinking bat. fastball all that's the way here. Job. And that's exactly Winter. what he got. He was able to get the bat right. hit out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Has a look. Now the pitch. I got a ball, one strike. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Two strikes. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like the that. If you can 14. spot your pitches there and advantage counts like I one were. and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts Wait. and soft contact. In now, Tyler Wade. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. One for one after a single his first time up. The 0-1 on its way. Nope, that's the ball. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. As a former pitcher, I can tell you sometimes you're just going to have games that get away from you. He's been struggling all outing long, and that wild pitch puts a little salt into the wound. He just hasn't had it in this one. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. The he was definitely the pitching for it hitter. with a runner on third Big and one yeah. out, and he got it. I'm now it's going to take hard. a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Now the 1-0. A ball and a strike now. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Good time to be a nine-hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Smoked on the ground left side. And that's through into left, a base hit. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4 nothing advantage now. Dan, you find yourself in trouble early putting guys on base but then you're able to wiggle out of it get two quick outs you think you're going to get your team off the field and with two outs you give up a run scoring base hit you know what happens sometimes Dero you lose concentration you find yourself in a tough spot you get two outs you think you're just almost out of it and you lose concentration and that might have been what happened in that case 
in there strike one trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. A lot of movement that time it's 0 and 2. On the stretch lifted the other way out to left center Santander waits on it and the inning is over a run on two hits for the Yankees we played four full the Yankees lead this one four to nothing welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments Leading could lead to things Orioles. turning around for them. The second baseman. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Hunter Alberto. First delivery to him on the way. Hanser Alberto is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1 0. Pitch on the way. A ball and a strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting, designated hitter, Renato Nunez. So one away here with the bases empty, and digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Behind 0-2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. What a terrific pitch. Some people call that a Hall of Fame type now of pitch. There's not the much you can do when a pitcher executes Leo one like that Ruiz. and puts it right on the black. Only thing you can do, go back to the dugout. To the plate now, Rio Ruiz. And he fouls this one off. The windup and the 0-1. Hey! This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his zone with all different options. Oh and two, here it comes. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. into the corner and slicing foul. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. The 1-2. Fouled off. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Misses, ball two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Ball three. Three and two now. 
he's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own and he's obviously seeing the ball well or he would have swung at that pitch sometimes in these long epic at bats you start to get into swing mode now the three and two pitch Bases are empty here with two men out. And the perfect game will go by the wayside here as this pitch misses for ball four. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so frustrating. He's got two outs, and he wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible, but that hitter makes him work his tail off, and he still loses him. Now at the plate, Andrew Velasquez. From the stretch. Ball one, no strike. A runner on first with two away. In the dirt here. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. and oh. From the stretch. Three and oh now. DJ Stewart would be next. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back to back walks now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him Number for a bit. 24. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Now at the plate, D.J. Stewart. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. First offering on its way. Hey. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Set now for the bottom of the Lead fifth. Off. Stepping in and ready for another shot. DJ LeMayhew. It was a flyout for him in his Rob last trip. Mayhew. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. The 1-0. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. The 1-0. Hey. Oh. 
One and two now. Yeah, one and two. High and deep to right center. Hayes on the run for it. To the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Up next for the Yankees, the left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Ready for another shot now, Giancarlo Stanton. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack That's early little. in the setback. One ball, no strikes to count. This is line to left. Santander grabs it to retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they're in front four to nothing. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, that's up there. Nope. And he won't bite at that one either. Oh, no. It's 2 and 0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a three-zero count. And he'll just float a change in here now for a strike. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Here comes the three-one pitch. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. The 3-2 pitch. Struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked him up completely with that one. Into the box now. Austin Hayes runs up and gets this one down. Throw not in time, and that will go as a punt single. Up next for the Orioles, the left fielder, Anthony Santander. So now to the plate, Anthony Santander. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Ready to deliver the one and two. Runners on first with one down. Still one and two. Hit hard on the ground a second. And that gets through for a one out base hit. It's the best competition in all the sport, the pitcher against the batter right there. He fouled off multiple pitches, refused to go down. Not only did he get a knock, but he ran some pitch total up too.
Here's Chris Davis now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. I ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. The 2 2 gets him looking up around the letters. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. This is hit high in the air out toward left center, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Orioles strand a couple. They trail here four to nothing. Hector Velasquez enters to do now the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 76, Hector Velasquez. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Now in the Yankees. box, Gary Sanchez. He lined Gary. out in his last trip, so looking for Sanchez. better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. No one, no He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and oh. This is in the air out to right field. Stewart is there, one away. Now batting. First baseman, Mike Ford. Digging in and looking for more, Mike Ford. A hit and two tries for him so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Here's the 0 1. Nope, outside. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, 1 and 2. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Whoa, that's down. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting. Not shortstop. Labor. Torres. Striding in, Torres. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. First offering on its way. Whoa, and that's man. inside for a ball, 1 0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. Hit back toward the mound. That's through for a base hit. His second of the ball game. The throw into second. 
the tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired one two three go the bombers but they hold a four to nothing lead and here's Renato Nunez he was punched out looking at strike three last time through yeah, he failed to pull a bat off his shoulder in that one, Matty. Down on three pitches, pretty much a wasted A.B. This has to be a better effort. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball one. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys? Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. The 1 0 home is a curveball in the dirt. And he started to go around there, and it'll cost him, as they say. He did swing the bat. It's 2 and 1. And now, pitch on the way. And right into the shift. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Now here it comes. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. The so they've really figured out Leo how to attack this Ruiz. guy. At the plate, Rio Ruiz. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. Hey. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Fouled away. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, now great command, Number great eight. location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Stepping in now, Andrew Velasquez. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Velasquez. A five foot eight switch hitter. He was selected in the seventh round during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Here it comes on nothing and two. The count is one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lays off two and two now. And it's fouled away. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and Ladies the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down four, nothing. Red.
Last half of the seventh we here. Got. Coming Fourth to the Yankees. plate now, Tyler Wade. The second he was base. sat down on strikes Tyler. in his last at bat. Wade. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Hey, not a bad way to start the nightcap. Three at bats, three base Number hits, Dero. Yeah, the pressure falls Red. off you after you go one Garter. for one. Two for two, all smiles. Three for three, get the party started. So here's steal, the steal, veteran steal. Brett Gardner looped over toward first. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite now the runner it. moving Third on the baseman. pitch, it'll wind up first okay. and second here. Well, wow, that's baby. surprising right there. Hit and run tactic used to perfection. Balls hit to the outfield. The batter does his job. I don't know how that runner's standing on second still. You tip your hat to the outfield to get it in super quick. But he's got to take the chance to get the third. DJ LeMayhew comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. From the stretch. First and second now, one man out. One and two to DJ LeMay here. One ball, two strikes to count. And he looks at a sinker for a cold third strike, and now there are two gone. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a no guy in scoring field. position. Number Those are the times you really Aaron. want to see a guy battle and at Good. least put the ball in play. Standing in now, Aaron Judge. High and deep to right center. Hayes on the run for it. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Yanks strand a pair. They lead it four to nothing. Zach Britton has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so now to start the eighth. The New York Yankees. Number 53. Zach. In now for the O's, Richard. DJ Stewart. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his Leading first two Baltimore. plate appearances so far. Right it doesn't look very Number promising 24. so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And the Orioles are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Well, lefty on lefty, now this batting. is a tough matchup, but he stays yeah. in there, keeps that front shoulder closed, and just rips the pitch for a two-bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there. At the plate, Chance Cisco and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together.
He's set. Here it comes. Nope. Outside. That's a ball. Couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Hard hit toward the hole, and there's a base hit as that gets through into left, and they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Hey, hey this might field. be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Standing in, Austin Hayes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a high strike there. 0 and 1. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Two home. Lined into right field, and it's going to get down a base hit. And they'll get back a run here as they're on the board. It's four to one. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late, and the clock so is ticking. But that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Late now, Anthony Santander. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Drill down the line, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. A couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0-2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one, hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. And he fouls this one off. And a swing and a miss. A big strikeout here as it'll remain second and third, but with one away now. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. To the plate now, Chris Davis. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. One ball, one strike. Second and third here, one man out. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And there are two away now. Up and hey, Memorial. if the first baseman is the playing base. straight up there, that's probably a Alberto. double down the line. But in order to prevent that late in the game, they had him guarding the line, and it obviously worked out perfectly. Adam Montavino enters the ball game out of the now pen, looking the for the game. final out here in the top of inning number, number eight. Adam Montavino.
Onzer Alberto will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now but also two away. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Inside, ball one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. The set and the 1-0. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The 2-0. and oh. And now a called strike that time. As the zone expands a bit here, it's 2-1 and one now. Plain to see right there that the manager's sticking up for his hitter, making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter. It's tough to cover both sides of the plate, and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit. That wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. He sent the three one. Fouled off. Runners at second and third with two gone. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Ready once again, Renato Nunez. His head-to-head -head numbers against Adam Ottavino. He's hitless in three at-bats. First offering on its way. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. The set and the one one. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Orioles get a run on the RBI double. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees four, and the Orioles one. Ready for another chance? Giancarlo Stanton. Leading He'll see what he can do leading game. off the home eight. The left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Takes this the other way to right. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now batting. The captain. Four to one our score Gary. as we give you a look there at the starter comparison to see how the numbers match up for the two starters. Digging in. Gary Sanchez. 
It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good. Ouch, that one hit him. Digging in now, Mike Ford is working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at-bat. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. That's taken, now it's 0-2. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now this is the kind of the bat where your hitting coach grabs you on the way back to the dugout to have a little chat about your approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at bat when you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches. Into the box now, Torres, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. So far, 2-3 for three in this one. The 1-0 home. 1-1 one and one the count now. Two out with the man at first. hit hard on the ground towards second and that's through for a hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now the batter number <laughs> Dero, not a bad night second three singles man. but hey you'll I take love. three for four every day of the Wait. week yeah in today's day and age damn where everything's a home or a Your walk or a strikeout three. it's refreshing to now see this guy throw out three base hits number 51 Paul so with a left-handed Paul. hitter waiting they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen Into the box, Tyler Wade. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. A ball and a strike. Two and one. I tried to jerk that one and it's two and two. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Hit out towards second. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Oriole bullpen does the job. We've played eight full. The Yankees are out in front, four to one. Tommy Kingley takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Riding into the box, Rio leading Ruiz the will be charged with trying to get on board, leading Rio off the ninth. Ruiz. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Oh, one pitch on its way. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Canely is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. 
Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build a perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Well, that's back-to-back -back off speed pitches, and he wasn't biting on either. Now let's see if he goes back to the hard stuff or gives the softer stuff another shot. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. He is swung on and missed strike three. Now batter. Standing in, Andrew Velasquez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's set and the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton has a read on it and he makes the catch for the second out. The batter, number 24. Riding in once again, DJ Stewart, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's off the plate. The 1 0. Hey. Two out, nobody on. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Everything this guy throws is hard. That change if he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Baltimore down to their final strike. And he lays off the fastball away so it's two and two now. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. The Yankees jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Garrett Cole gets the W on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.